Hello everybody and welcome back to another action figure review. Today we are going to take a look at this figure from NECA in the retro cloth 8 inch figure line of horror figures. This is Harry Warden the Miner from My Bloody Valentine. And here we have the figure in the box and if we quickly turn the box around here a bit of box art, the movie and a short summary. But let's get the figure out of the box and take a closer look at Harry Warden. So here we have the figure out of the box and my first impression is that I really like the retro cloth figure line here. I also like that all these horror characters are not just Jason and Michael Myers and Freddy but we also get some, excuse me for the expression, but minor characters here like this one and Captain Blake and also Candyman, for example. So this might not be the most well-known slasher horror character, but, but I think it's cool we get Harry Warden here in his scary minor uniform. And um, My Bloody Valentine, the movie is originally from the beginning of the 1980s, I guess, and there was a remake in 2009. As usual, these 8-inch figures are not overloaded with accessories, but uh, we have the main weapon here, the pickaxe. Then we have a nail gun and also a small knife. And finally we have this box of Valentine's chocolate. And I think we can open it up and reveal a bloody heart inside. So these are the accessories. Not much, but still decent and they are movie accurate. If we turn our attention to the figure, then of course we can't see any details on the body or head sculpt or anything because it's all covered in this uniform, minor uniform. And also on the back here, not much on the uniform itself, but of course we have details here on the belt. There's a wire here connecting this box with his flashlight here and also a tube from the mask and down to this box. Then we have the gloves and the boots here. I think it's a pretty cool design. I think this figure has a very creepy presence and I can't wait to take it for some photo shoots. But can it move? Let's check out the articulation. Before we move anything or articulate the figure, just be aware that this wire might break if you put this figure into really crazy poses. So, but let's check out the head movement here. Cannot really look down, but looks up pretty good. And we have decent head movement from side to side. The arms can go up, forward and back. And we have a single joint, I think it is, bends 90 degrees here. We have a movement on the body. Legs go forward like this, back not so much. Single joint at the knee and we can rotate the leg and most importantly, we can also articulate his feet here. So it's the typical new type of eight inch body articulation. I would have liked a couple of extra hands, but uh, the hands that are on the figure, they hold the accessories as you can see here pretty good. So there are no real problems. And you can also easily make him hold the pickaxe with both hands here. Let's take a look at some size comparisons. Here we have Harry Warden next to a few other 8-inch figures, Candyman and Herbert West. And they all fit perfectly in scale together. And here next to a Mythic Legions figure and Nosferatu from Mesco's 112 line. So, of course, Harry Warden here is significantly taller. If you want Harry Warden to hold his Valentine's Day present here, you have to balance it on his hands because he can't really 
hold it. But other than that, I think we have a great figure here. So for now, I'm going to leave you with my opinion and then I'll conclude this review. If you, like me, are into horror characters like this one, I definitely recommend to check out my bloody Valentine, Harry Warden, The Miner. And also go watch the movies if you haven't done so already. They are definitely worth a watch. So thanks a lot for watching this review. Leave a comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more.